Hi Sunbeams and Explorers! Today we're going to be learning about the medium charcoal. First, we're going to be doing a charcoal rubbing technique. Second, we're going to make a picture with some chalk that is very similar to charcoal that will make a nice piece of art for ourselves. Third, we're going to learn about the amazing gifts that God has given us. And lastly, we're going to take a look at some prehistoric art and what they used to do back way back in time. Let's get started. Okay, it's time for the Sunbeam Pledge. Four fingers out to the side, your right hand up, and the words will be on the screen for you to follow along if you need them. If not, you can just say it the way we normally do in class. I promise that I will try to love God, to be obedient, to be loving and kind to all, to be true to the Sunbeam Declaration. I understand that as a Sunbeam, I should pray morning and evening, speak the truth, be kind to animals, never steal, swear, gamble, touch harmful drugs or strong drinks. Do right! Hi, I'm Ethan. Let's say our Explorer's Pledge. I promise to explore God's Word and God's world, to find ways to serve Him and help others, to develop and guard good habits so that I will grow as God desires, and to adventure into the world with the good news of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, help me to discover you as the way, the truth, and the life, and to find for myself that following you is the greatest adventure of all. On the count of three, we're going to say our motto, which is Adventure of Christ. Ready? One, two, three. Adventure with Christ! Hi friends! Today we're going to learn how to do charcoal rubbing. We are going to be using a piece of chalk because it is similar to charcoal. Out of your bag, you also need your piece of black paper and either some toilet paper, tissue, or paper towels. Okay friends, let's get our chalk and our black paper and we are going to do some charcoal rubbing. You are going to take your chalk and you can color as light or as dark as you like. Take your tissue and lightly rub it and you get different shades of your color. This is a dark one and this is a lighter one. Let's see what you can make. So before we start our project, we are going to look at what we need. So out of your bag, you're going to need your chalk, your black piece of paper, another little bit of your tissue paper or toilet paper, and this one you're going to have to go outside for. You're going to need a leaf like this or maybe a different one off of a tree outside, whatever, you're going to need a leaf. Okay, so with our supplies, we're going to do a chalk rubbing um, of a leaf. So you take the underside of your leaf. This, uh, my leaf is kind of waxy on the one side. So you take the other side that has all the little ribbings on it of the leaf and you are going to take your chalk and you're going to rub real dark on it. And then you're going to kind of do the other side. There you go. So it's nice and pink or whatever color you have, blue, red, green, whatever. Um, and then you're going to flip it over onto your black paper and you're just going to gently kind of press onto it pretty hard. And then you're going to lift up and voila, you have the imprint of a leaf. Now I'm going to do that a couple more times on my paper. So I'm just going to cover the paper real quick with the white so that I can get some more chalk on there. Uh oh, so see if your leaf tears, no big deal. Just be careful not to tear it too much more. Um, okay, so I have a good amount of chalk on there. Move it and then I'm gonna fold over and press. Again, on the next part of my project. Okay, another leaf and I'm gonna do maybe one more like here. Um, you can do as many leaf prints as you want. Um, I just find it, to, it's kind of fun to have, it's fall time, right? So, um, we're thinking about the leaves falling to the ground and, um, that's what this kind of reminded me of. This leaf rubbing reminded me of fall and how the leaves are falling. 
So again, flip it over and press on the black paper, and then you're gonna away the chalk. Okay, so lastly, what I thought would be kind of fun was to take our chalk rubbing technique that we learned before and maybe make some little rays of sunshine coming down. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just kind of go on my paper all around and then I'm gonna take my chalk and I'm just gonna kind of scatter it and see how it kind of makes these like little streaks of, of chalk um, it kind of reminds me of like that faint sunlight that comes through the window um, and you can do some more or some less or whatever. Um, add a little dimension and like I said you can add as many leaf prints to you want as you want to it. It'd be kind of fun to add some on the bottom there that aren't complete um, leaf prints. So maybe just the bottom half of the leaf on there and you can even kind of color the stem a little bit more so you get that imprint more. And we could do that one right over here where there's not a whole lot else going on. See? And again, do as many different types of leaves or different leaves as you want, but that is the project. And you can use your skills to spread out the chalk to make your chalk leaf painting. Welcome to our art history highlight. Today we're going to be talking about prehistoric art. First, what is art history? Art history is just when we look at the way that people have been creating through time. People were always creating even before history was written down. Even before they could write, they were communicating through their art that they were creating. That is what our Prehistory, prehistoric art is for today. It is the art that people made before they could write down their own history. So what this included was different kinds of carvings and sculptures, maybe some stone arrangements, some paintings on rock, um, some sculptures. All of this was made out of natural pigments. So you think of the browns, the blacks, the whites, um, maybe some colors that you can make out of different um, natural plants and, and things like that, but for the most part, earth tones. One example of this kind of art is found in Lascaux, France, in the caves there. They were discovered in 1940, and they're believed to be about 20,000 years old. So this is how we kind of categorize it into prehistoric art, is the age of the paintings in the cave, the carvings. And so they do that through some scientific means, but it's how they discovered these very, very beautiful works of art that you'll see next to me. Um, and they depict different animals and different plants of the time because art is about creating not only what you see, but what you experience in life, right? So that is what they did. They created and they wanted to document their lives. That is our moment for prehistoric art history. Our devotion for our artist badge for today comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 35, verse 35. If you have a Bible at home, and you want to find Exodus, it's the second book of the Bible. So if you go to the beginning, you'll find it says at the top Genesis, and then you'll go to the next one that says Exodus, find that big number 35 and that little number 35, and this is what it says. He has filled them with skill to do all kinds of work as engravers, designers, embroiderers in blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and fine linen, and weavers, all of them skilled workers and designers. In the book of Exodus, God was telling his people what it was going to be like in his kingdom. He had just freed them from slavery in Egypt. He was bringing them to the promised land. So he said, in my kingdom, this is how it's going to go. And he filled his people with the skills to do all kinds of different things. He gave them the skills to do what they needed. You know, when God made you and me, he made us creative. That's part of the image of God. 
when God made humanity, he made us in his image. And part of that is creativity. When it says he filled them with the skill to do all kinds of work as engravers and designers and embroiderers. God made us to make stuff. So you may not be the best at painting or sculpting or using charcoal or chalk. But know that God made you creative. There's something in you that's creative, whether it's your imagination, whether you're gifted in art. He gave you the skill to do it. So we got to keep working at it, of course. But know that part of the image of God in your life and in mine is our creativity. So no matter what, keep creating because God has put it in every one of us. So I want to have a word of prayer for you today. God, thank you for every single person watching this video. Thank you for the creativity that you have put in all of us. And Lord, I ask that you would help us to find the areas that we're really creative in and find the areas we have to continue to grow in and that we can be creative for your glory. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and God bless you. Thanks for creating with us today. See you next time.